so what did I think about the Loki series? Now, it is Thursday today, meaning that it has been a whole day since episode 6, so most of you that are watching right now have probably seen the episode. If not, then there probably will be spoilers, but I will most likely announce if there's going to be spoilers for episode 6. But anyway, I would assume you would have watched episode 6 by now if you're watching a video about the whole Loki series. But I'm going to give my thoughts on some specific episodes, um, the flow of the series, like the series as a whole, um, what I'm looking forward to and expecting of the second season, because there is going to be two seasons, and just some general random stuff about the Loki series, how it fares against WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, in my opinion as well. And yeah, uh, let's get into it. So for starters, episode six of Loki, um, I liked, but not as much as a few of the others, probably episode one I preferred and episode five definitely, I haven't really thought about the others, but I wouldn't say it's because of a lack of action or because I didn't like Kang or the, uh, he who remains a variant of Kang, um, I don't really know why, uh, it kind of like uh, took steps back with the development of Sylvie, I would say because she turned on Loki, I thought they were actually having a thing there which is something that is likely to be developed more in uh, season 2 as they did still kiss but she then like pushed him out um, it, back into the TVA and then she killed uh, the, the good Kang so I wasn't too pleased about that because I really didn't like her in this episode she kind of annoyed me um, but Loki in this episode I liked I liked Kang or the variant of Kang he was genuinely a good person and I think it sets up the whole rest of the MCU from now on very very well um, because obviously the multiverse kind of like erupted uh, which is obviously exciting for the Spider-Man movie, the Doctor Strange movie and everything like that so in terms of that uh, that was pretty good in my opinion um, but one of my main problems with the series as a whole is I'm not someone that's read the comics so I failed to understand quite a lot of it now I would say I'm above a casual fan I've watched all the movies many times I've watched the series uh, many times the canon ones that is so WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and now Loki um, and I watch like a lot of Marvel YouTube videos some of them on the comics so I would say I'm above um, a casual fan but I did still fail to like understand everything that was happening there was a lot that happened to be fair and probably on a rewatch, I will get it much more which is fair enough to be fair um, but it was just a lot happened and I felt like it would have been better if there was another two episodes and they just spread out um, everything over like another two episodes because the TBA one thing is being huge variants uh, is another thing being huge all of the TBA being variants is another huge thing um, Mobius turning is a huge thing, uh, finding out the timekeepers are controlled uh, by someone and then not knowing who is a huge thing, and then seeing Kang is a huge thing, and then all of that was just crammed into six episodes, it was a lot to be honest, but that doesn't mean it wasn't good, I just failed to understand it all first time round, so I guess that's kind of my fault, but this is my opinion on the Loki series, so that is something that affects my opinion on it. Um, my favourite episode would be episode 5, and yes, it's probably because it had the most action, I'm going to be honest, like, classic Loki was incredible in that, then uh, Loki learned how to enchant stuff with Sylvie, I thought that was really good, their relationship took big steps forward in that episode, and then we also got to see Mobius and Loki have a hug, which was a nice moment, so that was just like a really, really good episode in my opinion, and I also mentioned how episode 1 was really good, um... I felt like it set up the rest of the, the series incredibly well. It just got straight into it. It was long, so everything that happened um, was spaced out, which I think the rest of the series needed to have done a little bit better, which is what I said. Um, so episode one, again, was really, really good. So, yeah, um, if I were to give it a rating out of 10, first time round, the chances are second time round. Like I said, I will enjoy it more because I'll understand it more. But first time round, I will honestly give it a seven now that is going to be very low uh for some people 
because a lot of people have been giving this series a lot of love and that's understandable because for like fans that know more than me like I can see the appeal but I think the Falcon and the Winter Soldier is better because I'm a fan of that kind of MCU movie. The, the Winter Soldier is, uh, well, Captain America the Winter Soldier is one of my favourite movies. And obviously that's kind of like the same vibe as it's like action, but still superpowers, kind of. Um, so yeah, I did prefer the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I preferred every episode of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier to every episode of Loki, bar episode 5, beating a few of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier episodes. Um a lot of people don't agree with that. Um, I've seen people saying it's hands down the best series out of the three being Loki, that is. Um, and I don't think that's the case. Definitely not hands down. Um, and I don't think people will believe that after the hype for Loki has died down. Because obviously you can understand why people are like overrating it. They've just seen it. They're so excited. But I think a decent amount of people will prefer WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier in maybe a month or two. But I still think Loki will be the like the most loved, which is understandable because Loki is an incredible character and so much happened. And like I said, I think I'm going to enjoy it more on a rewatch. So some people will think it's even more clear of WandaVision and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But yeah. However, I do think it's better than WandaVision. I wasn't a fan of WandaVision. The first three episodes are, like, really, really bad, in my opinion. And then the rest of it is, like, decent, but not great. But, yeah, I do prefer The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I know that's unpopular. So, let me know um, your order of the three, being Loki, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and WandaVision. I'll be interested to see how many other people, again, prefer The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I think, because I'm not, like much of a marvel channel i think i will have more people that prefer the falcon and the winter soldier uh to loki than most um channels like making loki videos because most channels making loki videos do a decent amount of marvel so have a lot of marvel subscribers so then we'll like all of the stuff that happens related to like the comics and that that have happened in this loki series but for me and what i think a lot of my subscribers will think um is that it was a lot to understand and something a bit more just action packed rather than like future MCU development packed basically um, is more enjoyable to watch. But like I said, let me know what you think. And I guess there's not really too much to say. I thought it was a 7 out of 10. I preferred the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I do prefer Loki to WandaVision. I think I'll enjoy it more on the rewatch. In terms of the characters, I haven't spoke about that. Renslayer really didn't like um b15 i think is uh the hunter that i'm uh trying to talk about now uh wasn't a fan at the start but then when they like talked to um sylvie and like kind of like changed their mind that i preferred them a little bit more loki uh normal loki was my favorite character in the series i loved classic loki i really liked sylvie until episode six and obviously mobius was great as well and my predictions for season two of Loki, I really, really don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, probably a lot more variants, um, I would assume, as the multiverse has erupted. But other than that, I really don't know. Um, one thing that I will say is, I think, because uh, we know episode six, spoilers, um, ended with um, uh, Loki being with a Mobius um, of like a different timeline or being in the TVA of a different timeline and therefore Mobius being of a different one as well. I think Loki will maybe use his recently learned enchantment powers and somehow enchant this Mobius to remember like everything that happened to the Mobius that we've known throughout the series. I think that could happen because um, one thing that I did really really like about the Loki series is that they significantly increased his power to any other movie we've seen in terms of his magic um which i loved i think there was a severe lack of just magic from loki from uh dark world ragnarok well basically everything he was in other than avengers which i think is only them too right i'm right in saying that um because i think in the avengers he did a little bit of magic and it made sense why he didn't do too much because he was in possession of uh, the scepter which had the mind stone so he just wanted to use that to be honest um but yeah i'm glad they significantly increased his power in this series and i think he would now be able to enchant um mobius to a level where he 
gets his memories back that he's never that that version has never actually had. I think um, that would be really cool to see, and I think he will do that. But yeah, I'm excited for season two because Loki is so powerful, and I want to see what else he can do. And I think if I'm gonna make another prediction, that eventually this version of Loki and this version of Sylvie, um, maybe Mobius, maybe not, um, the normal Mobius that is, will find their way to uh, the regular MCU timeline that we're used to with like everything that happened in like Infinity War, Endgame, etc, etc. Um, I think he will make his way back to that because, you know, it just makes sense that that will happen. Like, There's only a certain amount of multiverse movies you can make because at that point you've just got like an endless amount of movies you can make and you can just make none of them relate to each other and just say it's on a different timeline which is okay like i get that Sp- the spider-man no way home will go to different realities and bring different people in from that like toby Maguire and andrew garfield spider-man but you know the mcu has worked so well so far because all of the movies are on one timeline and relate to each other so maybe they keep visiting two or three um like maybe one of them is like the x-men timeline um or that has a lot of mutants but i can't see um like too many more than that so that is why i think that this loki will return to the main one um if not one of the new main ones that does stay um like often reappearing in the upcoming mcu projects if that makes any sense that was a lot of waffle but yeah um thank you for watching let me know your opinions on the Loki series, and yeah, thank you for 7.8k subscribers. Please, please can we get to 8k uh, soon, because that's just like another milestone, isn't it? And obviously I want to uh, get there because I'm trying to grow, so yeah. And if you are subscribed, please do uh, click the notification bell, it helps me out a lot. And yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye.